My name is Lisa Pace. I'm 42 years old and I've had 86 skin cancers. I started consistently tanning when I was 18. It kind of started two and three times a week and then I got myself up to every day. I think I ended up being addicted to the tanning bed because I enjoyed the color that I was becoming and I thought, you know, I fit in. Over time, it was just something that I didn't want to miss. It was like not missing a meal. You want to go, you have to do this. I was 24 when I had my first skin cancer. And when I went to the dermatologist, he found two suspicious places and got a phone call. Oh, you need to come in the office. These biopsies came back, you have skin cancer. And at 24, that meant nothing to me. I continued to tan. I did eventually go back and he said, these places are melanoma. No idea that melanoma was scary. No idea that it was the deadliest form of skin cancer. At some point, I had a surgery on my face. Seeing this big place taken out of my face, that shocked me into, you've got to educate yourself and you've got to figure out what's going on. And I kind of went into that, being a young coach, coming up with a game plan. Like, I have to do something about this. As I got older, and I wasn't tanning, and I was wearing long sleeves, and I was wearing sunscreens, I had already done so much damage as a teenager and in my early 20s, that as I got into my late 20s and early 30s, uh, two or three places became 20 and 30. And uh, mid-30s, I had had almost 50 skin cancers at that point. Well, this one's what started it all right here. And uh, you know, it was such a, it was so traumatic for me. So these scars are almost 20 years old now. I would much rather be pale, white, covered in freckles than to have all the scars that I have. Now, sunscreen is part of my daily routine. I won't go outside without it. When people say, oh, you look dark, or uh, you've got some color, it's, it's not a compliment. You know, that should be the complete opposite. It should be a warning. Skin cancer, it doesn't care what race you are, what gender you are, how old you are. Anyone can have it, anyone can get it. If I could go back and talk to my 17-year-old self, I would tell myself that, you know, skin cancer is avoidable. Don't get in that tandem bed. You know, wear your sunscreen, wear protective clothing. Most of all, you know, you're beautiful to those who matter most without a tan. You know, people are going to love you for what you look like on the inside, not the outside. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.